Studios. Press start to begin. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Sir Bonus Round. We are back with more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All. I'm your host, John Mookie Jam. Join us always my co-host, Chad Peanut. Hey! And Rich Raymond 767. Yes. Shh. Right. Court's in session <laughs> yet. Yeah, uh, Furby, you have to be quiet. The direct cause of death was a pistol shot to the forehead, sir. The shot was fired from point blank range. But before the victim was shot, sir, he was stabbed in the chest. The wound was very severe, but not enough to cause instantaneous death. The murderer used the pistol to finish the victim off after the stabbing. Hmm. So the victim was stabbed before being shot. This is the victim's autopsy report, sir. After being stabbed in the chest, he was shot and in the forehead point blank. The court accepts it into evidence. <clears throat> Mr. Wright, you may question the witness. <clears throat> All right, so the goal here is to press every statement because then you'll get new evidence once you do. Hold it! The murder weapon, Detective Gumshoe. What, whose pistol was it? It was the victim's. The victim? Now why would he have... Objection! 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 Why would he have a pistol? <laughs> Who cares? The point that you are missing is whose fingerprints are on the, that pistol. If you're not already paying attention to that, then I suggest you start. Fingerprints? There were fingerprints. I don't think so. Along with the victims, the defendant, my phase, were also on the grip, sir. So the defendant's fingerprints were left on the murder weapon. Mm -hmm. I walked right into her hands there. Hold it! Point blank, huh? So how about how far away is that? It's anywhere between 12 to 20 inches away. And how do you know he was shot at point blank? Just, just, just. Mr. Phoenix Wright? I love this woman. I grow tired of the foolish foolery, of the foolish fools, of this foolish country. You know her favorite word yet? I excuse me? Gunpowder burn, ya? Yeah? Gunpowder burn? When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is left around the bullet hole. Gunpowder exploding is what makes a bullet fire, and that gets real hot, pal. Yes, it does. And there were definitely some gunpowder burns left on the victim's forehead. Wow. Never knew that. Well, live and learn, I guess. Hang on the edge of tomorrow. Hold it! Stabbed? And what was he stabbed with? A fruit knife. I see. And whose knife was it? It looks like it belongs to the face, sirs. Face, sir. And of course, my face fingerprints are all over it. Mm -hmm. All over it, huh? Ugh, this does not look good. <laughs> what will you do now, Mr. Phoenix, right? Will you give in? Will you be submissive? I might. I would. <laughs> <laughs> so would I. I'm a top, but for her, I might change my mind. <laughs> Hold it. How severe was the wound? If it had been half an inch more to the right, it would have hit the victim's heart. After a stab like that, it's impossible to fight back, let alone stand. This testimony makes it sound like Maya has stabbed him with the intent to kill. The murderer used a pistol. 
pistol to finish the victim off after the stabbing. Hold it! Are you sure he was stabbed first, then shot? Yep, sure, sure, sure can be. One look at the wounds and you'd come to the same conclusion too, pal. A fool is a fool who will only listen to the foolish opinions of other foolish fools. A pistol shot through the forehead at point blank, which I could even do easily from Stuttgart, is certainly enough to kill instantly. Does it matter then which was first? Think a little more before you open that big mouth of yours, Mr. Phoenix Bright. Ugh, what pain! That's enough. We have clearly established how the victim was murdered. I brought the two murder weapons with me today. Very well. The court accepts them into evidence. So that was why you had the press, so that you can get all of them. The date and time of death was June 19th at 3.15 p.m. Jesus Christ, he died the time I was born, too. Wait, shit. what? I was born at 3, at 3 o'clock. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Eyewitnesses claim to have heard the two gunshots at this time. And two murder weapons, both with the defendant's fingerprints on them. Huh. Hmm. This does seem like an open and shut case. Naturally. This is going from bad to worse. As oh, you know it. As if the summary just now wasn't oversimplifying things to the extreme. Your Honor, feel free to slam that little gavel of yours. I know you adore that little gavel. <laughs> yes, yes, mommy. <laughs> After all, there is no room left for doubt, is there? Yes, mommy. <laughs> that is quite true, but... Miss, Mr. Wright? <laughs> if it wasn't so obvious, I'd be like, I cannot believe I predicted this bit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Even in the face of all this, do you still wish to plead not guilty? It's the opinion of this court that if you do not adjust your plea, you stand to lose. See? Just as I promised, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You would change your plea in less than 10 minutes. What will you do, Mr. Wright? Will you change the justified self-defense so I could have a hot night with Mommy over there? Because now would be the time to do so. <laughs> this is your final chance. Don't ruin it for me. <laughs> this is a huge decision. I better think this all the way through. He's not guilty. Yeah, I know. If we plead justified self-defense, we would basically be confessing to murder. After the trial, Maya's life would be ruined and she'd be labeled a murderer. I can't let that happen. Your Honor? Have you reached a conclusion, Mr. Wright? Can the I have my hot night with Mommy? The defense will change, not change his plea. To, uh, no, the defense will not change his plea. We will accept nothing short of a complete acquittal. Ooh. You. You have sealed your fate, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Detective. He, yes, Mommy. I, I mean, sir. <laughs> Please present the final portion of your testimony. The final strike. Um, yes, m m um, sir. N n now see here. Proceedings are run by... Ha! <laughs> Sorry, Mommy. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, of, of course. Hey, go ahead, detective, and give your testimony. 
I think the court would like to hear about the the other piece of incriminating evidence. Incriminating evidence. Sorry, pal, but there's an even more incriminating piece of evidence. This is the costume the defendant was wearing at the time of the crime. A as you can see, it's covered in blood. Do you guys see what's wrong, like, right now? The big old Yes, soul. I see a hole on the side between the arms. I see another problem, too, but... Um... A defendant and attacked and killed a person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. <laughs> oh, oh they gum clearly were. Oh, gumshoe. So this is the costume. There certainly is evidence of a back spray of blood on this. This piece directly links my affair to the crime. Er, um, wrong, wrong. <clears throat> this piece directly links my affair to the crime, sir. You guys, you got whipped so hard by the Francisco, you swap brains. No shit. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I see. The court accepts this into evidence. All right, Mr. Wright. My fingerprints on both murder weapons and blood splatters on her clothes. Could this situation get any worse? Ha! Huh. What's wrong? You seem to be at a loss, yeah? I think this is the last piece of testimony the prosecution should have to offer. Feel free to sulk off with your tail between your legs like a little cock you are, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Please stop calling me by a cock. It's disturbing. <laughs> <sighs> okay, yeah, it's all the same stuff, so you gotta... Yeah, so... Before... You guys might think you know the answer, uh, but um, we need to press this statement. This blood on the costume. Lab results show that it is the victim's blood. Hmm, so there is blood from the victim on the defendant's clothes. Definitely not good. So, were there any clues you could glean from this piece of evidence? Um, well... Objection! Oh. Objection! If you must change the topic, then, then the good detective here must testify again. But too bad. Not enough time. Let's us move on, ja? Uh, I yes, mommy. M uh, Miss Von Karma is... Perfectly correct. Mm -hmm. Not even the judge is on her side. If I bite off more than I can shoot here, what should I do? Press further. Why is Miss Von Karma suddenly putting up resistance? There must be a reason as to why she suddenly threw out an objection like that. Again, you're very there fucking There must there. be something about this costume. There are two things I noticed with the costume. I don't know if you guys noticed- Exactly two. The other- I don't know if you can recognize the second one. The, the, the hole in the sleeve is obvious, but... I just have to look harder. Mr. Wright? Miss Von Karma, I mean, Mommy's logic is perfect. There's no way for you to poke a hole in the it. Interesting choice of words, Your Honor. <laughs> Ah, looks like my time's up. So about the costume. It no, is... she could poke my hole if she likes. <laughs> Your Honor, inappropriate. Also, actually, there is something very wrong with this piece of evidence. Well, what? What are you talking about, pal? Well, where is this problem? Where is this problem you are talking about? I've come this far. There's no turning back now. You mean you stopped edging? <laughs> yeah, ever since Edgeworth went away. <laughs> uh, 
Gee, oh, I wonder. That's the obvious one right there. Take it! I asked the court to please take a look at the sleeve of this costume. A slave? There's a tiny hole here. A, a hole? But that wasn't in the report. Oh, darn. What's this around the hole? It smells faintly of gunpowder. Gunpowder? No one ever told me. A hole that smells of gunpowder. It looks like I found the hole I was looking for. Your Honor, the only logical conclusion you can make is that this must be a bullet hole. Order, order, order. This is a very grave matter. It's best we correct the court record first before anything else. Sorry about that. Uh, I guess we messed up, sir. It, is she actually smiling? What else is she hiding? <laughs> Pull yourself together, detective. That tiny hole doesn't change a thing. After all, there are three holes that I can exploit from. The strength of the evidence still holds. Continue with your testimony. That just now was a fluke. Nothing more. Objection! How can you say something like that? This is a huge oversight! While I agree it is a mistake on the part of the police, what Prosecutor Von Karma has said is true. The evidence still stands. If you do not find a more definitive problem with the evidence, then... No way! Detective Gumshoe, please continue with your testimony. Y yes, sir. Yeah, it's this is segment. where you yeah, hit him. Right there. Right the there. Defendant attack when killed a person who without devout was not fighting back. Mm. Again. Objection! Detective Dick Gumshoe. Y yes? <laughs> Having you call me by my full name is kind of a weird feeling. You said that my client killed a person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. Yeah, I did. Then what, may I ask, is the bullet hole you police overlook supposed to mean? Uh, um, well, what does it mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means that the victim had fired off a shot. Is this what it means to not fight back? Ah, you're, you're right. It seems you are correct. If the victim had tried to shoot the defendant, then it would change everything. All right, the wind seems to be shifting. Ha. Huh. What is it with that unfinished yet laugh? Are you finished yet, Mr. Phoenix Vice? Oh, damn it. Uh, mommy, I mean Miss Von Karma. <laughs> It seems that my affair was shot at by the victim. However, is that the only grounds enough to support a justified self-defense plea? That is correct. But I'm sure you remember, Your Honor, what the defense, what his offense clearly said. They rejected. Justified self-defense and pleaded not guilty, ya. Yeah. Ah! Why, that's right. Ah, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Which means the defense has yet to prove anything at all. No. Well. Yes, that's true. Furthermore, 
Just the fact that there is a bullet hole in the costume is not enough to substantiate even the plea of justified self-defense. Huh? How so? Ah! Don't just stand there. Hurry up and bark for mommy and tell the court what transpired that day. With the new information we acquired in, of course. Well, you mean b by myself? You want me to put together a scenario all by myself? I'm an idiot! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I whip you. <laughs> yes, mommy, I mean, sir. Right, right away, mommy, I mean, sir. <laughs> what transpired? Uh, during the channeling, the defendant saw her chance to stab the victim in the chest. Uh, of course, the victim used the last of his strength to fight back, sir. While the two were fighting, the victim took out his gun, and the victim took a shot, but because they were too close, he missed. The defendant then picked up on the opening, took the victim's gun, and ended it. Hmm. Something about that just does not make sense at all. Hmm. This scenario you have put together does make sense, not really. <clears throat> yes, sir. Well, Mr. Wright. On the surface, it does seem to make sense. However, I won't give up that easily. But please refrain from glaring at me like that. Only mommy's allowed to do that. <laughs> now then, your cross-examination, please. While the two were fighting, the victim, the victim took out his gun. Uh, he took out his gun! <laughs> but the, took out, the victim took a shot when they, they were too close, he missed. Uh, objection! Missing the tiny hole in this costume will be the prosecution's undoing. What do you mean? This little hole is actually the huge hole in your testimony. <clears throat> Explain yourself, Mr. Wright. You said the two of them were fighting when the victim fired his gun at point blank. If that were true, then where's the gunpowder burn on the costume? Gunpowder burn? I wanted to say something to you guys, but I think you guys figured it out already. This is what you testified earlier. When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is left around the bullet hole. But did you see one? No. Oh. But there is not a single trace of gunpowder burn on this costume at all. That is a very good point. And what exactly does this mean? It means that when the shot was fired, they were standing apart from each other. Hmm. Objection. Objection. I'm disappointed, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You think you can punch a hole in my logic with that? With wishy-washy thinking like that, anyone can explain anything in a way. Then I implore you to disprove my line of thinking. Let's see. In the middle of their, f of their fight, the victim pushed the defendant away. And it was then, when they were separated, that he fired. How was that, ya? Yeah? OBJECTION! As if that was even possible. According to the testimony, the wound from the stabbing was very severe. The victim would not have had the strength to push the defendant very far after that. Ooh, we're breaking her. <sighs> the bell's in. That's right. 
the defendant must have pushed the victim away. After stabbing him, she must have put some space between the doctor and herself. And then, while she was preparing to strike again, the doctor took his shot. There, that should satisfy. Uh, there, that should satisfy even you. Hmm, that does make an awful lot of sense. What do you think, Mr. Wright? I must be careful. I can't afford to make a mistake here. Concentrate and think. Something doesn't make sense. There's a fatal flaw in her argument, Your Honor. Fatal? Oh? Ow! Oh, right, Mommy. Very interesting. I would love to see where this flaw is. You guys should already know why there's a, what the flaw is. Do you remember where else you saw a bullet hole? In the oh, scribe. Yeah. In the scribe. Show me something that contradicts my explanation. There has to be a snag in her explanation somewhere. She put some distance between them before rushing to make the final blow. And when she was about to strike, the doctor took his shot. There must be a piece of evidence that contradicts this line of thinking. Uh, objection! Take or take that, sorry, whoops. This is the piece of evidence that destroys your logic. What is that? A folding screen? I would like to point the court's attention to the hole in this folding screen. <sighs> it looks like you already know what I'm talking about. That's not a bullet hole, that is the Korean Village Glory Hall. Oh god. <laughs> Who? Where? What? Mr. Wright, your explanation, please. Also, where is this glory hall asking for a friend? <laughs> Are these two really that clueless? The bullet went straight through the defendant's sleeve first, then the folding screen. It passed right through at the height of approximately eight inches off the ground, which means when the shot was fired, Maya, I mean the defendant, was not getting ready to strike, but I was actually squatting low to the ground. Order, order. This changes everything. Please look at this diagram of the crime scene. The victim, Dr. Gray, was here when he fired the shot, and the bullet hit this folding screen. It hit at this location about eight inches off the ground. At this time, the defendant was in this area. So where do you think that uh, defendant was? Jump between the victim and the... In the corner. You mean right here? Mm, no. No, I would say like, like in the corner of the floor, like where the floor is. Well, why, why would he shoot over there? Because where she would, was standing over there or squatted over there. But they're saying that the the prosecution is saying that she was over here. But why would the bullet no. be over here? Because again, that's where she was standing. But she was over here. But the bullet's over here. Do you, do you want to know the answer? Yes, yeah, because you're sad. confusing the hell out of me. She was... Well, she, if he shot there, then that means she was over here. Take that! Take that! That's what I was trying to say. I thought you meant the corner behind the folding screen, but you, you were close enough. I'll give it to you. She was standing here near the folded screen. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. The wait a second. We know the defendant was close to the ground based on the height of the bullet hole. But how can you gauge the distance from that? Isn't it possible that the defendant was standing much closer to the victim? If that were true, why is the bullet hole there? That's impossible. But, but why? You, of all people, should know the answer to that question, Miss Von Karma. If she were shot from somewhere closer, there would be gunpowder burns present. However, there is nothing of the sort around the bullet hole of this costume. Ah, 
Thus you miss a phoenix light, you... Mm. I'd like her to do that to my balls when this is over. I believe it has now been proven that... The defendant was standing away from the victim when she was shot at. But do you think this has changed the defendant's situation? It changes everything. It's everything. Honestly, Your Honor, this changes everything. The prosecution has claimed that the defendant was aiming to kill by stabbing. If that were true, delivering the final strike with the knife would be ideal. However, where and what was the defendant doing at the time? Squatting all the way by the folding screen? Exactly. If Maya Faye was the real murderer, why would she be at the, by the folding screen instead of preparing to strike? Hmm. Upon further consideration, it does make very little sense. Yeah, I figured there had to be a reason because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Figuring things out and proving the logic behind everything is your job. Oh. All right, with this, the rest of the trial should be in the bit. Mm -mm -mm. Blast radius of disaster. <laughs> <laughs> I loved he said it said I was in the back last race of disaster. You are such a smart man, Mr. Phoenix Light. To think that you've been able to take a completely hopeless case to this point. Now I know why Papa had a tough time with you. Hmm you amuse me. He had to listen to the entire Tarzan soundtrack five times after that. Jesus fucking Christ, John. <laughs> oh my God, I knew it. I fucking knew it. I want to know. Can you show me? I want to know how you beat my father. <laughs> <laughs> of all the things to inherit, why did it have to be that smarmy smile? Hmm. Detective. Which, fun fact, did you know that Phil Collins did the Tarzan soundtrack in like six languages? Wait, what? Uh, yes, he did. Yes, he did. And when, in between episodes, I will show you the clip that Disney themselves posting that that was true. Oh, God. How dare you damage my perfect logic? Uh huh? How is this all my fault? You can start repairing your standing by first removing that three-strand goatee. Oh, and rest assured, your punishment will come later. <laughs> My punishment? Oh, boy! <laughs> <laughs> well then, your honor. I think I had all I can take of this detective's face. I think it's time to call in the next witness, yeah? Next witness? That's gotta be Lotta. Very well. The court will take a five minute recess. After we reconvene, we will hear from the next witness. But do you think we'll hear from the next witness? Next time on Super Bonus Round. Yep, so thank you guys again so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ah, yes, mommy. Ah, ah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh.